Hey everyone, it's Grace from Kapwing and welcome back to our YouTube channel art series. So in previous episodes, we have made our YouTube profile picture, our YouTube header, and then also video watermarks. And now in this episode, we're gonna be making a YouTube video intro. I'll show you how to use free online customizable templates to create professional looking animated YouTube intros for your videos like the one you're about to see right now. A YouTube intro is essentially a short clip placed towards the start of your YouTube video that introduces the video and then also the channel and your brand. Not every channel uses a YouTube intro, but it can help a lot with brand recognition, with really solidifying to your viewers who you are and what they're watching. It can also help with consistency across videos, and then it can also help separate different parts of the video. For example, your hook from the rest of your video where you go into a tutorial or just whatever you're going to share with your viewers. I'm gonna go over two different ways to make intros and both use free online templates so you don't have to worry about shelling out any money or downloading intense video editing softwares onto your computer. The first way I'm gonna show is super easy and fast. You just add your text, add your assets, and then you're done with your creation. The second way is a little more complicated, but with it you can create 3D motion graphics in your intros. Now before we jump into actually creating the YouTube intros, I'm just gonna go over a few tips and best practices for creating your intros. The first one is that you want it to only be a few seconds and definitely less than 10 seconds. You don't want the intro to take away from your actual content. You don't want viewers to be left bored while they're watching it. Ideally, it's an exciting introduction to your video and channel and making it last only a few seconds can ensure that it stays exciting while keeping the video moving. The second tip is that you want to keep it on brand and consistent and you can do this by including recognizable graphics like your logo or your brand colors or your channel name or your name you don't want your intro to seem like a random video clip thrown into the rest of your video you want it to stay in line with the video and then your greater channel and brand and then the third tip is about placement some people put their intro right at the start of their video. That's the first thing that you viewers see. I would recommend that you put your intro after the hook of your video. So the first few seconds of your video is super crucial because of this hook where you can tell you viewers what this video is about, show them what they can get out of it, and then once they are hooked into watching the video and they're ready to sit down and see the rest of it, then that's a good place for playing the intro because it's a stopping point and help segue viewers into the rest of the video. Okay, now let's get into actually making our intros. So we're gonna start with the easy way to make a YouTube intro and it's using this free online template that we've made in Kapwing. To get to it, just click the first link in the description below and then you can just click make it. All the different assets and the visuals and audio that you need for a YouTube intro are included. All you have to do is customize it with your channel graphics and name, do anything else you want, and then you can export it and use it in your videos as an intro. This is what the intro looks like as is. The first thing you would probably want to do is change this text hold placeholder to your channel name. So I'm going to write Grace's place since I'm continuing to add channel art to my channel that I'm setting up. And then to edit the text and customize it, there's options on the side here. Change things like the font, colors, edit the drop shadow in the effects tab. Some other things you can do are change the background graphic. So this is a just stock video that I found on a website called Pixabay. Uh, but you can add something that you want if whether it's a photo or a video or a gif of your brand You can just do that through the upload tab or you can search for things right in the editor with the images tab Another idea is to add your logo on top of this text So maybe you have your text up here and your logo here and then you can also adjust the audio so right now I've already placed some uh, royalty free music on top of this intro you can it's been trimmed down to a few seconds and you can adjust what trim you want to use you can also just remove this music track and add your own music on top something else you might want to customize is the animation so when this graphic continues moving across the screen the words grace's place will also have an animation as you can see there so that animation comes from clicking the text box and then going to the animate tab here. You can choose any of these options, um, but since the graphic moves across the screen and I'm gonna use this graphic, I think reveal seems like a good one to use for me. The last thing you might want to change in this editor is 
the timing of when your text comes onto the screen or when your images or other things come onto the screen. You can change that in the timeline. So just click timeline. And the way this works is it moves from left to right. So if you play the video, this bar will move across the screen and show you what it looks like. So if you want to make the text come onto the screen earlier, you can move, drag this whole thing down, or later you can drag it back. Once you're happy with how your intro looks, you can just click the export red video button here. So my video intro is done loading, and if you see a small watermark in the corner here, you can remove that for free just by clicking sign into your account, and there should be a button up here. This is what my final intro looks like. I'm pretty happy with that. It only took a few minutes, pretty simple. So I'm going to now save this file to my device by clicking download. It saves as an MP4 and at the end of this video, I'll go over how to use it and where to place it in your YouTube videos. So I just covered how to do, make an intro using the easy way, using a template on Kapwing. And now I'm gonna show a second way that's a little more complicated, but allows you to add in things like 3D motion graphics, and 3D animation to your intros, which takes it a level up. So the tool we're using for this one is Panzoid, and the link is in the description below as well. It's the second one. Panzoid has a ton of different templates. Uh, these are just a few of them here. And if you go to Panzoid's homepage, you'll see that there's all these different ones. You can keep looking through them. They have a lot of different vibes. They have a search bar too, so you can search for specific uh, types of intros. The one I'm going to be using today as an example is this one, that simple text silhouette intro template. This template is actually the one I used to make the intro for this whole YouTube channel art series. It's simple, but also exciting. It has the motion, the animation as you're moving through, but you can add things like customized uh, background and text. And I think it works for any channel, regardless of what type of content you're gonna make. So if we open this in Clip Maker, this is how we actually edit the template. Once you open the template, this is what it looks like. It'll take a little bit of learning with this tool to really use it to its maximum effect. I don't know everything about it, but I've been able to learn through and just try things out uh, so I can help show you guys how to use something like this. I'm gonna do a little orientation first and then I'll show you an example of using this template to make an intro for my channel. So the first thing you want to know is that all these uh, options on the side here are where you can make different edits. This is the preview window of how it looks, and since it's 3D, you can move it around. And then this is the player bar down here. To preview what the actual end product will look like, you can click this eye here, and then click play. So that's what the template looks like right now. If we didn't make any edits and we just downloaded as is, that's what it looks like. But obviously you're gonna want to do things like add your own graphic at the start, and then you, you can also add your own text and slogan. Third one on the list is where you can adjust things like the video resolution, the frame rate. I'm okay with the default settings. And then there are other options for adjusting the appearance. This fifth option is where you can change the different groups in the template. So for example, the text boxes, they're labeled text and then they have what they're written, what's written in that placeholder right now. So if I wanted to edit the template, the word that says template right here, I just click this text group and then these different options show up and then I can edit the text and edit other things here. First thing I'm gonna do is change the text. So I want it to say Grace's Place, which is my channel name. And then I'm also gonna change the font to something else. They have a couple fonts here. You can also upload your custom font here. Now I'm gonna go in and change what says slogan. So that's a different text layer. So it's this one right here, I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna add my slogan. And then I'm also gonna change the font again. Those are the text layers. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is change the background. So when we started off here, you can see that th this is the picture that shows up and you can actually customize what picture shows up here. So making, adding in your own logo or just graphics related to your brand and colors are gonna help make it look a lot more consistent with your brand and then also make it look like it's actually something you made and it's yours. To change the overlay, to change the image here, go to the sixth option on this list, which is this, the this star. The first option here is overlay, click that. And then here is where you select what image you want to replace it with. 
So to create your image, you need it to be exactly in the 16 by nine aspect ratio. And I'm gonna use Kapwing to make that image. Go to kapwing.com, it's the third link in the description below. And then you can just click start with a blank canvas and then make sure you click the 16 by nine aspect ratio so it fits in with the video. I'm gonna use a graphic that's associated with my brand and then also try and stick with some of the same colors. I started off by searching for a pastel gradient in the images tab and then uploaded another graphic that I use for my channel. I erased the white parts using our image eraser. And then I used another graphic that I uploaded and erased the white again so that it turns into a PNG transparent image and you can see the other graphic behind it. Once you're happy with how your graphic is looking and it's in the 16 by 9 ratio, then click export image. My graphic is done loading and if you see the watermark here again, just make sure you sign into your Kapwing account and you can remove it for free. Then to save it to your device, click download. And now we're gonna go back to our Panzoid creator and then upload this image. The sixth option on the left, click overlay at the top and then you will be able to select your image. So I'm gonna select and click the one that I just created. And you can see it brings it into the editor and updates the preview right away. So let's see what it looks like uh, after we've ad added this overlay in text. Awesome, I'm really liking how that looks. I think it's simple, but has my brand colors and images and has my channel name, of course. Another thing you can do is change the music. When you're using these templates, you wanna be careful to make sure if this music is copyrighted or non-copyrighted and what the rules around that are gonna be. If you're not sure, it's always easier to add your own non-copyrighted music on top. And you can do that in the music tab here. You can just select an audio file. Once you are ready to download your intro, you can just click this download button here. You can choose MKV or WebM. So even if your video editor doesn't work with these files, we can convert it to an MP4 using Kapwing. So I'm just gonna stick with MKV and then once you're ready, click start video render. It's gonna take a little while to load. I'm gonna cut to when it's actually done. My video says it's ready for downloading. So just click download your video. There it is. As you can see, it's downloaded in an MKV format. So if you want to turn it into an MP4, if your video editor doesn't work with these kinds of files, then you can use Kapwing. So just start a new project in Kapwing and then click to upload your file. And here it is, it is loaded. So we can see what the final thing looks like now. Sweet, and then in this editor is where you can do things like change the audio, add your own audio on top. To just save it as an MP4, click export video again. My intro is done loading now and it's in the MP4 format. If I download it here, you'll be able to see that. Now I'm gonna go over how to actually use one of these intros in your YouTube video. I have a Kapwing project open up here with my video. And if I go to timeline, we can see that this is my whole video that I want to upload to YouTube. And all I have to do is add the intro. I'm gonna put the intro between the hook of the video where I introduce the video and talk about what I'm gonna show and then also the rest of the video where I go into the actual tutorial I'm showing. So that would be this space right here. You can see I'll play the first few seconds before the intro. Upload to TikTok and it's all ready to go. Let's get started. So I'm saying let's get started, indicating I'm probably gonna to move to the next part of the video. So this is where I'm going to upload my intro. Now you can either upload your file here, or I, since I had already made my intro and it's now a Kapwing file, I can just copy the link to this project and then go to Kapwing and click upload and paste it right in. So here is the video, it has come up and to move it into the spot where I want in the video, I'm gonna just drag this layer in and then move the end layer closer so it all ties in seamlessly. So this is what we're working with now. Upload to TikTok and it's all ready to go. Let's get started. So to get the filter, there's two. Awesome, so that was what it looked like with the seconds before my intro, then the intro, and then after the intro. So once you're done with your project, just click export again. 
Thanks for watching this video. We went over two ways to make YouTube intros, one using Kapwing with a template and the other using Panzoid's 3D graphics motion templates. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and also consider subscribing to our channel so you can stay up to date with our YouTube channel art videos. In the next episode of this series, we'll be creating our YouTube end screen using a template as well, so stay tuned for that. Let us know if you have any suggestions, questions, ideas in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.